So that, that's a perfect one where you just get your right shoulder through a little harder. And that's okay. a rope right down the middle. So same exact swing there, just cover a little harder. And you think hands a little lower too. Bunch of different feels for it. But what I'll feel is, you know, hands more down there, a little faster. I could use that one. Yeah. Hey guys, Christo Garcia, my swing evolution. I have a dynamite video for you today with my main man, Justin James, world long drive champion. Oh my goodness, this guy can smash a golf ball. Now, the video I'm gonna share with you today is about foot pressures. Did you know a long driver at impact is weightless on their lead foot? That way and then go. That's the only way I can do it. That's because they're pressing hard out of that lead leg in order to turn. It's pretty remarkable and we discussed that today and how to use the legs to create momentum to turn the body. It's, it's pretty remarkable. Now, this full video is an hour and 16 minutes long and it is posted in MSE TV in new videos and long drive training. So if you'd like to see it, I'd encourage you to go to MSE TV. All my subscribers, thank you so much. But I'm going to start to really pump out some videos. I'm going to be meeting with a, a young golf cinematographer today. And I'd love to be able to find somebody that can help me do this workload because I have big dreams for the future for MSE TV. So just a reminder, you can get your first month free with code free month. If you sign up at MySwingEvolution.com or pick up the Over the Top Miracle Swing, it's dynamite. I've gotten thousands of messages, literally, that it's changed golfers' lives around the world. The next MSE Intensive is November 5th and 6th, coming out to beautiful, sunny California. The weather's going to be perfect. OTG! And I'm going to start trying to do more online lessons so I'll be talking about in my next video. So let's get into this video with Justin James. I've certainly I'm a... played with these skinny, this yeah. feels so stupid to me now. <laughs> <laughs> well, like that's a part of it. Stick. You know, look, I train with a barbell, kettlebell, um, you know, I was a baseball player. Nothing that I handle in sports is that small i can't imagine playing tennis with a little skinny yeah. grip like this so you know plus i'm a thrower uh -huh. okay so i like to really be active mm -hmm. and and this limits my face rotation mm -hmm. but i mean the first thing i put it on my driver my dispersion it was unbelievable it tightens so much so that was it yeah and it's that simple yeah, yeah Count, counter so rotation i was thinking about what you were talking about with this pump move rather than going right here and mm -hmm. giving it all away that it's also like if I'm gonna do a spinning back kick, I go down yeah. to come around with yeah. it. You know, you open and then. Yeah. You're doing the same thing with, well, I mean, you know, baseball is the same. I mean, you can't give it away too early. Uh -huh. So, like, you know, Rory will have kind of counter rotation before he rotates. So we'll get here, there, and then go. Uh -huh. you know, it's just like if you're gonna jump, if you're gonna vertical jump, you can't just go straight from here you've got to load load first yeah so we want to go this way we've got to go this way first to then go that way uh-huh if we want to do it forcefully yeah oh so you you're saying get left and then because you're weightless on your front foot at impact right yeah because i'm pushing off though <clears throat> so if i want to send a ball that way i'm going to go that way and then go that's the only way i can do it like if, if i'm here i can't I have to wait the lead side before I fire. Uh -huh. Otherwise, there's no force there. Yeah. Just like vertical jump, if I want to go up that way, I've got to put energy that way before I can go that way. <laughs> right? Yeah. So in a sense, I mean, the last thing you do is rotate. I mean, I think and Greg Rose told me, I think Elkington told him, I don't want to butcher it, but, yeah. you know, like, 
you, you have to go right before you go left. So we're here, we go there, then we can go left. That's the only way you can shuttle the club. So I see a lot of people like on ranges, you know, they're trying to do that or trying to do, well, everything is over here. I've got to get lead side. Uh -huh. Can't get around that. So you got to go trail side, lead side, and then we go. Because uh -huh. that's, that's the way, the only way you can open your hip at impact and use it forcefully is by putting weight there. So now I can push off of it. Uh -huh. If my weight's still here, I can fake it. Okay, but I'm just, now everything's back here. Yeah. Does that make sense? It, it does, and honest to God, I think that this is the, the still very dark, uncharted territory of the golf swing that most people don't understand. They just don't, I mean, I, I'm figuring it out. I'm trying to learn it, you know, because I have these eureka moments, and then the next time I come out, it's gone. I'm like. It's not unlike any other sport. You know, baseball players get into the ball. Boom. <laughs> Okay, if, again, if you're gonna jump, if I'm gonna jump that way, I've gotta go yeah. that way. I mean, you just can't yeah. get around that. But golf, we like do it backwards because we try to keep our head still, this, that, and the other. Yeah. I mean, if more people, I don't know, there's 20 people on this range, I bet you 10 of them played baseball when they were younger. Uh -huh. More of them just added some of that into their swing, they'd be a lot better off. I, 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 None of the old guys were stagnant, right? Like Hogan, Sneed, Nicholas, they all had some of this in there, right? Uh-huh. <laughs>